I'm going to take that. 35 intel seems reasonable for an upgrade component. And... I know that later on these become super rare, but they're not rare yet. <laughs> so... Should I just skip on them? I think I'll keep the intel. Sectoids, Illyrium, and Purifiers. I'm not selling Illyrium. Sectoids we could probably sell, because we're going to get more of those. And then Purifiers, which was up here at the top. No, because I've not done the autopsies. I believe having more corpses increases autopsy speed. Your Templar friends are no different than countless other species found themselves obsessed with the Elder's power. Uh, where's the research place? Oh, screw it. Just go to research. Breakthrough in the design of the power relay enclosures will reduce their cost by 75%. Excellent. So that's now going to take two days. Lost is going to take two days. Two days. Three days. Five days. Six days. Uh, I don't think the number of corpses reduces the time, it's just because I got more scientists. And these are all pretty quick now. They only require the one corpse each time. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna sell the excess. I must admit. Market is open. So we're gonna get rid of two purifiers. Two sectoids. As soon as I find them. Yeah, sectoid, sectoid, sectoid. There you are. You're saying by the engineer. 90 intel is a lot, though. I don't so much need the engineers right now. I'd actually much prefer to have scientists. Because I feel like my research is lagging. This will do. Avenger plotting new course. How many do I have? Two. This will prove to have been an important breakthrough. All right, so we've got the improved assault rifles. An innovative new cartridge design came about as the result of a recent breakthrough. All assault rifles now deal plus one damage. We can now get upgrade tiers level threes. Inspired. Yeah, we don't need that. Um, I want to start doing the autopsies just to get them out the way. So let's go ahead and do the Although last autopsy. similar in appearance to the psionic zombies we have encountered previously in our engagements with the aliens, all current indications are that these lost are the product of something else entirely. Prolonged exposure to the chemical agents first released in the earliest stages of the invasion seem to have turned these once innocent civilians into yet another form of the undead. Wait, yet another form of undead? We knew of undead before? Training completed. So we have a scoot. So what else do we need? We do need another agent. I do think that we should probably recruit an agent. So that would be... Who was the only other one with high thingy? Marshal Slav is going to be an agent. As if the aliens didn't have enough annoying spokespeople, now we have these chosen running around, lecturing us day and night. Alright. I am sure you will find the results uh, yeah, to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Yeah, the chrysalid zombies. You're right. Right, lost autopsy is done. From the field reports I've managed to assemble, the first sightings of the lost likely occurred more than a decade ago, as members of an independent resistance cell in North America encountered what they referred to as the time as infected civilians. With little in the way of options, the cell leader, a man named Tony Cross, ordered these infected to be destroyed on site. Knowing what we do now, I can say with confidence that Cross's order may very well have curbed the initial spread of the lost and saved us from yet another insurmountable threat. 
Conducting an autopsy on a subject culled from one of the lost swarms has proved to be among the more troubling and emotionally draining procedures I've faced in my time serving XCOM. It was clear from our initial discovery that these uh, creatures in the field that they were once human, with most among them having been civilians. With that knowledge in mind, it fell to me to discover the cause of the extreme grotesque corruption of these unsuspecting victims. Based on their proximity to the abandoned cities of the invasion and the information gathered from the various eyewitness accounts, our most plausible theory as to the origins of the lost revolves around the so-called fog pods dropped throughout the cities during the earliest days of the aliens' invasion of Earth. The gas released from these pods was never fully studied, as the invasion took a turn... For the worse, and the Earth's governments were focused entirely on defensive efforts. Unfortunately, with no sample of that particular toxin available today, our focus remained on the subjects presented here. Much like the psionic zombies that we have encountered previously, the lost of oh yeah, psionic zombies as well, not just the chrysalids. The lost defy most known medical science that existed before the arrival of the aliens. Despite a catastrophic level of tissue decay, the lost remain vigorous and agile in the field, attacking on what might only be blind impulse. Their senses can, are also inexplicably heightened, as they are quickly drawn to the sounds of activity, to the delight of our troops. The traditional law of Earth applies today. As any damage to the cranial tissue of the lost, a headshot, has proven to be the absolute means of termination. As to what it is that changed these unfortunate souls into what they are today, or better still, what it is that drives their otherwise lifeless forms, we may never know. Ultrasonic Lure Using what we've learned of the Lost and their behaviours, the Ultrasonic Lure was designed to help control the movements of the field. Deployed like a grenade, the Lure will draw the Lost to whatever device is thrown. Any Lost with inside of the target area will move to attack. That would have been very nice to drop on the head of the Assassin the last time I met her. Right, let's do the sectoid. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. Okay. Onwards. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Plus two seventy-seven supply. My strength, my focus, all of my efforts have been rewarded. I am reinvigorated. Uh oh, so she's now immune to explosions. I like explosions. Oh. So how do we counter these guys? Like their activity is retribution. Can I stop that somehow? We received intel regarding the aliens' current activities, preparation to follow the dark events before they can enact is already underway. Counter operations will be available soon. Advent return fire. Miss shots on Advent officers and priests will return fire. Stiletto round. Some Advent soldiers are equipped with rounds that cause bleeding status. That would suck. Alright, new orders. Don't need the cheaper soldiers. We've got loads of them now. So we have two slots. One which has to be one of these three, and then one which can be anything. So I'm going to say units get plus three mobility for the first turns of battle when the squad remains concealed. All intel rewards increased by 10%. Sounds pretty nice. Knowledge gained by chosen reduced by 33%. Also sounds good. In fact, both of those sound really good. Will recovery in soldiers 20% faster? Doesn't sound particularly useful right now. And then laboratory facilities provide an additional 20% boost to research. We don't have any labs. So the Templar one's not amazing. These two don't sound awesome because I've loads of soldiers, so I'm sending lots of people on the covert missions. So it really is going to be between these two. Not 
that low on intel, so I'm going to say knowledge gained by chosen. Make them weaker. For the defeat of the elders. And that's where we can grab our resources. Strategic resource located. Huh. So we could have done with a 10% additional there. Avenger plotting new course. So I'm not really short on supplies right now. Are any of these going to expire soon? Not immediately. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. The sectoid's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. Preliminary autopsy ex... Preliminary autopsy exam conducted by Dr. Richard Tigan, acting science officer. Although my direct surgical experience is limited, the alien's genetic manipulation of the species previously catalogued as a sectoid provides a certain familiarity in relation to human anatomy. While the earliest documented accounts of sectoids on Earth indicated examples no larger than one meter in height, these specimens that are encountered today are nearly twice that size. Knowing full well that the aliens continue their efforts to integrate human and alien DNA, my findings here only reinforce the notion of a continuous development process. This larger sectoid variant has an even greater proportion of human genetic material, selectively combined with the integration improving otherwise limited physical capabilities of the original. With enhanced psionic capabilities and greater overall strength, I'd say they have succeeded. This allows us to focus psi powers for destructive means. Provides the fuse ability. Mind shield is a pyre full psionic artifact, rendering soldiers completely immune to any negative mental conditions, including panic, mind control, stun, and disorientation. Um, I'm not going to do these ones yet. This one's still only three days. Oh, we should probably do the advent officer. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. Thankfully, we've not had any breakthroughs or anything after those. Just one after the other. Our boom, 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 boom. Soldiers were ambushed by the forces of the elders. We must recover and strike back. Soldiers deployed in covert action were ambushed by Advent forces. Your right. attempts at subterfuge have failed, and this defeat will be a costly one. So it now occurs to me that it was the injuries that I nullified, not the ambushes. So there was a moderate chance of ambush, and we have indeed been ambushed, which basically means that the three soldiers that we sent on this mission will have to fight their way out. So I should have paid a little bit more attention to the classes and equipment that these guys have, because they're kind of not being equipped. That was my bad. They should still have, like, heavy explosives and regular guns, though we may have some people using guns which are not the most optimal choices for them. It would be nice if it said, like, a pop-up saying, you should probably arm these guys. Like, I wouldn't even know about that being a thing unless I'd watched Marbazir. Time to see how good Mordred is at fleeing from combat. Well, considering the gusto that I can say, run away, run away. I'm not... Wow, that's a long way. Crap. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. Alright, so apparently just the lost. So we have a ranger. We have Maljin, who is a grenadier. Oh dear, we have two grenadiers. 
Angela von Hell. I mean, Grenadiers against the Lost is actually a good thing. Let's move you as far as you can Copy go. Let's see if they've actually spawned yet. No. It's against the Lost. So take the high ground. Your team is compromised. We're picking up Advent response forces inbound on your position. Time to go then. This is like the worst team for this as well. Oh no. Wait, Spectrus shotgun specialist? Yes, good. Oh, these guys are good. They're, they can certainly pack a punch. I'm leaving the Advent guys way behind us. I'm hoping I can just stay ahead of them. Maybe. I might be taking risks here, not being in cover. Enemy movement ahead. See if they get a shot this turn. Yes. No? No. Alright, so we suspect that there's some bad guys over here. We know that Advent's behind us. And you don't generally have to hide from... ...them. Move a gunner up first. Sell a copy. We've got advent here. Oh. Okay, that was unexpected. Um, because you're being flanked right now. Actually, that doesn't matter so much. Why can't you stab? No! I'm next. Why can't you stab? There is a target available. He's right there. What? Oh, unless he's in... Oh, he's in that tile. I see the problem. Um, question. Do you have salvo? No, you just have really good suppression, which we could use against the bio viper. Though the viper could try and just pull you into range. Oh, I can't believe you're one tile out of range. That's very disappointing. Yeah, and you really need to double move. No hace falta repetirlo. I'm hoping I can just keep ahead of the Viper and Co. Convinced, but we'll see. Throw a grenade. Yes, I know they're a lost. I'm I'm aware of what I'm doing here. Oh, they had to spawn there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Advent 
stormtrooper there. <laughs> Alright, so we know the lost are in here somewhere. Just don't know exactly where. Which is frustrating. Spray does not count as a headshot. Realistically, only got four shots. So I'm gonna have to risk being in range of the lost and absorbing a round of damage. Roger that. Okay, they're all over there. So as long as I run this way, they shouldn't be able to reach me this turn. Then I've got big guns with lots of ammo. The problem is the Viper will then be able to catch me. I could suppress it. You're a bit too dangerous to fight on your own. I'm going to take a risk. We're going to keep on just running madly forwards. And just stay ahead of those guys behind us. If possible. Depends how many dashes there are. Holding position. None. Okay. Got some advent here. three turns away, if I run the whole way. Hostile target down. Target neutralized. So I can't actually shoot you when I run up here. You're only an advent soldier, so I'm kind of gambling on the fact you can't do much damage. Annoyed that I can't get quite in front of that car. Um... Yeah, I can't kill that Viper. Venga, vamos, vamos!
You know what? I bet if I move here, those lost can't actually reach. Well, you can. So that would be one reaching us. Don't miss. Thank you. Hostile terminated. My ammo's running low. Oh, I Got know. <laughs> I know your ammo is running low. Oh, that helps. That really helps. So someone's going to get flanked by him. You. Maybe? No. They you. got me flanked! You missed! There's heavy fire in this zone! Yes! And you're fighting the lost. It's a glorious. You missed as well! It is a glorious day! What a day! What a wonderful day! <laughs> no, this is okay. Another big boom. Let's move you first. You really need to get up to about there. I mean, those guys are so far back. You are probably okay, safe I'll to go. do it. Ooh, you could actually flank him from here. Hold on. You've got loot. There is no way that I'm going to regret doing this. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not, because this is going the right way. Recibido. There's a window there you can smash out of. Let's get the loots. Marksman stock, PCS, perception, and trauma kit. Nice. I'll have those. Objeto a salvo. And then you can just run like hell. Moving out. Stay in push. Seventy-five miss. Ow. Oh, hello. Advent forces on the ground. They're repositioning on us. I think I can escape this turn, though. Yes. Yes. You are fucking kidding me. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. It's fine. We're close enough. Because I can just go over to you. Don't miss, Spectre. You. X ray neutralized. No need to ask twice. All right, let's go. Moving to position. I'm going. This mission was I'm a lot of fun, actually. I enjoyed that. Completely and utterly bonkers, considering my team loadout. But good. I'm so tempted just to throw a grenade. Just like, here, have some lost. Boom. Oh, I should have totally done that. Oh well. Whee. Bye bye. All members of Wraith One have been successfully evac'd. 
Nearby, a resistance truck was disabled due to an earlier attack by Advent. Our soldiers quickly repaired the vehicle. In appreciation, the driver gave us 24 Illyrium. Wait, we repaired a vehicle in this area? Why? We killed eight enemies? Oh, that counted the uh, lost that Advent killed. Ah. There's another flawless, so you know my rule. We take a picture if it's flawless. I'll take that. 